Hello everyone. So today I want to walk you through um, the process of bypassing the the um, the use of our Microsoft accounts to log into your Windows 11. So by default, with the new process, is that it requires you to have like a Microsoft account to log in to sync with like OneDrive and Office 365 and all those apps and so forth. So if you get to the screen and you get here, you want to click yes. Um, you know, accept whatever country you're with, just click yes. Um, it's going to take you through a process and um, check for updates and so forth. But there's one key thing you click yes again here, and then you can click skip. And um, it's going to check for updates with this new version. Um, it also checks for updates and so forth. It shouldn't take long, um, depending on the version and how old the uh, image is that you are about to install, right? So here you can name your device. I'm going to call mine Lab CL01 because it's a lab computer. I'll click next, or you could click skip. So it's going to go through this process, and it attempts, I think it's restarting or doing something after you put the name in. It seems like you restarted. All right, so once it restarts, it's going to come to this stage right here. And then um, what's going to happen if you click on school um, setup for like school or uh, work, you'll see this process, right? And then you, it's prompting you to sign in, right? So then that means you got to use an account. So you can go back and you can also select set up for personal use but it's the same process because then at the bottom down here it's going to ask you to sign in which takes you back to having an account right so if you don't have an account you just go all the way back right here and then once you're in the screen i want you to go ahead and two things hold on the shift button and hit f10 in the screen and do an ip config and then forward slash release and this is basically releasing the connection that you have by DHCP to the internet if you have a cable plugged in directly to your modem just unplug it for a minute right and then um, if you don't have the cable plugged in just go ahead and hit it this way so then once this is released check it out right now click back on school and click next it's going to keep asking looking like it's searching but because it can't find an internet connection guess what it skipped a step and then now you can type your name in here right so type the name for our company which is where i want to put in and then you click next and then we're just going to type in our password and then from here you should be able to Type in your password again. And then answer the security questions, one of three, right? Um, just go through the whole process and answer all of these. So I'm going to answer these real quick. All right, so let's say I enter what's my first part name, and I'm going to call him Doug. And then once you click Next, then it will take you through the process. But if you went back earlier to where it asked you for your name and if you just put in a name right and click next and then instead of putting a password right you can skip this process right without setting a password and then the computer is going to sign you in automatically and then you won't really have to complete the security settings so that's another way you can do it. However, I do warn you though, like if you set up your computer without a password, that is a security risk and that's on you. But you can do it two ways. You can still skip this step and go through the process since you don't want to go through all of that, right? Click next again, or you can, you know, uncheck all of these location, all the stuff that they're trying to give you um, and then click accept except nothing right 
And then from here, the computer should be logging you in. So it's going to say hi and then welcome. It takes that process to go in. But then when you skip the steps and you go here, after you're logged in, you can always set your computer password later. And it makes sense to just do it that way for easy access. All right, so once the computer restarts, you're actually into Windows. So if you're here, you can literally just type in user. Um, in here and you will see users so you can change your user accounts from here too if you really wanted to go in and change the settings on your system you can select the users um, add and, and remove the users that are on your PC um, so you can literally go back and set it up the way you wanted it to um, really just go to um, I think it's just users manage users other users right here that's just for certificate. Okay, so the multiple ways you can actually do it to set your password once you're in, you can literally just hit the start button and you can type password, PASS, like that. And then it gives you the option to change your password. So then you can just click change password and it will come down. You will see um, password. Where were we just now? No, no, no. Um, I was with the password. Did I hit the wrong button? Password, change your password right there. And uh, right there, password. So I click password and then you can add. And then now you can do a new password, confirm, whatever. So then you can just literally create a new password and set it. All right, and then once you set your password, you hit next. And there you go, the next time you log in, your password is set. So there's multiple ways you can actually configure it. You don't have to do it on the front end if you bypass it. And then you want to come back and secure your computer. And um, that's basically it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you got something out of this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and press that bell button so you can get notifications every time we post new videos. You have a great day.